Greetings and welcome to the 66th episode of Retro Rant. For this episode, we will be reviewing an absolute classic Atari ST game, OIDS, released in 1987 by FTL. It was an Atari ST exclusive killer app until it got a Macintosh port in 1990 and an unofficial Amiga port in 2014. I never had seen this game before, but considering I am a fan of games like Thrust and Space Taxi, I couldn't let this opportunity go by. So let us see, by retro rant standards, if this is a game worthy of its classic status or not. The evil biocretes, which sound like organic vegetables which grow on Greek islands, have created a race of android slaves called the Oids. The sadistic biocretes treat the poor Oids worse than garbage, while the poor robots toil away to amass wealth for their cruel masters. You control the compassionate pilot of a V-wing, Yes, this is the official spacecraft name, I'm not making stuff up this time. And you must be a robot activist or something, because you decide to devote your existence to freeing these poor oids instead of, say, stamp collecting. I don't know what karma boost this robot saving deed provides, but anyway, you start with a fleet of four V-Wing fighters and a limited amount of bombs, ready to teach these biocrits a lesson in the ethical use of machinery, of course by blowing them to pieces. You are being deployed by a mothership, and you must collect eight oids each time before returning to it, except if the overall remaining oids are less than eight. If you return with a full 8 robots, you are rewarded an extra life, as well as an essential refueling and reshielding. Fuel is the most important resource in OIDS, and you can see it depicted in a bar in the top left next to your score. There are various refueling stations in the levels, and in the later stages you really need to ration your fuel if you want to be successful in your mission. Next to the fuel is the shield, which can be activated by pressing down on the joystick. The shield can save you from enemy bullets or painful collisions, and it can be replenished by pressing space. Beware though, because this action requires the expenditure of fuel, and it can really take only a couple of bad decisions to deplete a full shield. Next to the shield are your lives, and next to that are your Nova Bombs, which will be unleashed by double tapping the fire button. The ship is controlled by using left or right to rotate it, and up to thrust it forward. You must destroy the factories in which the Oids slave away, land nearby, rescue the Oids, and, when you have aid, return to the mothership, rinse and repeat. The graphics of OIDS are quite underwhelming for a 16-bit game, but everything looks clear and, most importantly, moves and scrolls smoothly. I quite liked the animation of the OIDS, and they reminded me of Lemmings. The presentation is quite decent, also without being spectacular. The sound of OIDS ranges from functional to reaching for the mute button. There is absolutely no music in OIDS. The explosions sound beefy and satisfying, but the rest of the sound effects are uh, meh at best. The worst part is when traveling from planet to planet, which sounds like a ZX Spectrum tape copulating with a furious cut against a blackboard. 
but OIDS is a true gem because of the fantastic gameplay. Learning to control the ship and perform the various maneuvers, navigating these narrow passageways, thinking about shield usage, avoiding or smashing the enemies or kamikazeing into them with a shield on, or nova bombing them to oblivion, all this is brilliantly designed and makes for some devilishly addictive gameplay. This is helped by the great controls, the fantastic level design and the fair difficulty curve. Learning the various enemies is great fun, especially these hateful structures that act like magnets and draw you in for a nice head-first collision. These structures are sometimes shielded and you must eat away at these shields before you can destroy the building. You must be careful not to kill the oids with your bullets or the fire from your thrust and you definitely shouldn't destroy the refueling stations, especially in the later stages. Oids starts off very easy and friendly but after a while it becomes simply devilish in its stage design, requiring you to truly master the V-Wing controls. If this isn't enough, OIDS promises endless hours of gameplay because it also includes a level editor with which you can create your own predicaments in robot rescuing. Overall, this is a fantastic game that really deserves its classic status. Don't let the unimpressive graphics and sound put you off, this addictive game is pure playability and Atari ST owners would have been very proud and lucky to have such a title back in the day. So that's it for now. Please consider more peaceful forms of activism than blowing up buildings. And I'll see you next time!